every part of our model's skin is not always the same color. Sometimes the face is not matching the neck area, or the chest, or the hands, or somewhere else. Now, this becomes very frustrating when you want a more professional look in your images. This imbalance could be due to the kind of makeup they are wearing, or your light positioning among others. Today, I'll show you how to color match skin and correct skin tones using Photoshop in just a few easy steps. Remember, I am Sarah Angel. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, welcome to Photoshop. As usual, I've got the image fired up already. And as you can see from this side, I've done a quick frequency separation. I'll zoom in so that you can see the before and after of that. I kind of fixed something here as well. Right. And I'll show you the original image. Just so you can be sure that I've not manipulated anything in any way. Right. Let's go ahead and do it. Create a new layer. Then select your brush to select some skin. I mean, where you think the colors are beautiful. Just something like that should be fine. Right, I'll go ahead and I'll make sure I'm using a soft brush. So drag the hardness all the way down. Make sure the size is a good size. And I'm going to brush over this area. The area I'm trying to fix. It's just a rough brush. Doesn't need to be perfect because you can always refine it later on. And I'll set the, I'll set the blend mode to color. Now that's too much, obviously. So go ahead and decrease the opacity to something that works. Somewhere about 60, about 60 for this image. It's all right. Now, if you want to refine it, just go ahead and create a layer mask. Set your colors to black and white. The default is D. So if you hit D, it's going to set the foreground and background colors to black and white and use X to swap. Remember, black cleans and white reveals. Or should I say black hides? And then brush with, brush with black on where you want to remove your brush from. Stick your time and do it well. And yeah, you have something that is matching. Now you, you can go ahead and do it all over the skin. But I just prefer to do it in the areas that I want to correct. All right? And that's it. If you want to do it on the face as well, and if you don't want to mess it, you don't want to mix it up with this one, you can go ahead and create a new layer. And just, just as we did over there, select a portion, brush where you want to correct set the blend mode to color reduce the opacity i'll say about 40 percent for this image and yeah that's gone so that area was a bit yellowish i've corrected it now still on that layer i can select my brush too then brush other areas too Oops. Create another layer mask and make sure it's black and white, black hides, and white reviews. Now, I'm not going to make this tutorial very long. I just wanted to show you the technique. You can actually use it yourself and play around and see what works for you. But basically, if colors are not matching, that's a very simple way to correct skin tones and match colors. Go ahead and play with it, get creative. And yeah, there you have it. That's it. Before, 
and after no before and after before and after Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you picked up a thing or two. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe as well. If you didn't enjoy this video at all, please subscribe as well. As the next video might be something for you. If you have any questions for me, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, stay creative and keep smiling. Peace.